Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and I'm back with a new card design where I'm focusing on a very subtle texture and very light colors. I wanted to try something new, something I haven't done before. So I'm starting out with this cute stamp from Purple Onion Designs that I've already colored. Please ignore my dirty fingers. Um, yeah, I have, a, I have square, square card pieces and bases here. Um, I, I used some glue on a previous project. I'm showing um, a tonic die here, but I used some glue on a previous project and that's why my fingers look all messed up. So please be kind and overlook this. Now I'm going to leave a little bit more space down here even though I could center the die, but I need to uh, stamp my sentiment somewhere. That's why I'm leaving more space towards the bottom of this panel, which is cut to four by four inches. So that's um, a square panel that will go on my card base. Now I have die cut it and you can see there's a lot of pieces still in there. So how do I, how do you get them out? I found that if you use a toothbrush, it works rather well actually. So that's basically what I'm doing. Used my toothbrush, it's a very soft toothbrush. <laughs> and I got everything out there. It also works to get the stuff out of your die, by the way. So if you have a toothbrush lying around, it might be useful. So I used this um, other die to um, cut from the inside here. Like this is one die set uh, from Tonic Studios. I They sent it to me a while ago and I didn't get around to use it, but I finally wanted to try it. So, um, Here's my card base. I have masked off the edges, basically um, what will not be covered by the front the front panel. So the card base is four and a, four and one quarter by four and one quarter, um, and the panel is four by four. So that means there's a quarter, but well, a little bit less than what is the what is half of a quarter? 0.25? I don't know. Well, you can kind of guess. Um, Anyhow, so there's a little bit of card uh, base that will not be covered by the panel and I want that to remain white. I want the color to only be visible behind my die cut panel. I'm using very light colors here. I know it doesn't look that light right now, but since I'll be covering up most of it, it doesn't really matter. But I, I really, you know, I really had to convince myself to not use like dark and intense colors because, it, because I wanted this to be a very soft design. That is something that I've always wanted to try and I'm struggling with it because I always go for high contrast. I'm spritzing this very sl uh, slightly with a mix of perfect pearls and water, very slightly because this is Simon Says Stamp Heavy cardstock and it's not reacting too well with water. So I have to be very careful with this. But the, uh, the mixture of water and perfect pearls will give me very nice shimmer. And you can see here how the color will shine through um, this very intricate um, uh, die cut. Now I'm using my uh, stamp -a magic here. You can see there's this plastic sheet that you slide into the green one, then you slide your um, acrylic block into this green T shape. And uh, now you can see where where your stamp is. And I always like to um, uh, adhere my, my panel or whatever I'm stamping on to my craft surface. Um, simply because I don't want it to move while I'm trying to position um, everything with the stamp -a magic So here's what's going to happen. I'm inking up my stamp again. I haven't removed the stamp from the acrylic block. It's still in the very same spot. Now I'm using this plastic piece to make sure that my stamp goes exactly where it needs to go, sliding this T shape back in, sliding the acrylic block back in, and now I'm stamping exactly where it needs to go. There we go! Um, since I used VersaFine ink, which is a pigment ink that takes some time to dry, I like to cover it up with a just some uh, post-it, um, simply because I am, you know, I'm adhering foam to the back of this thing. Now I'm pressing down to um, adhere this to my to my card base, and I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally um, ruining the the letters because the the ink takes some time to dry. So that that's how I do it. Now I've adhered my bunny, and there we go. Um, we have a card that is, you know, just a, a happy card to send to somebody. I practiced my copy coloring separately, um, you know, earlier, so th that's why I had this image already colored up. And I was really looking forward to using these intricate dies from Tonic Studios. Um, I, have, I haven't really used dies that intricate ever before, and so this is kind of new to me and I'm still not entirely sure how they fit into my designs but you can see here that I like them so much that I created a, um, a similar design just different colors this is also a stamp from purple onion designs it was stamped on watercolor paper and I used um, my stabilo markers to color it in 
um, and here is the card that I created for you today in the video. I hope this gives you some inspiration and you enjoyed the video. If you liked it here, a few more for you to check out and please subscribe to my channel. I have more videos to come. Thank you. Bye bye.